The deadly shooting of three Burnsville first responders raised questions about gun rights. The killer could not legally own a gun or ammunition because of a prior conviction for a violent crime. However, a few years ago, he filed a petition to overturn his lifetime ban, which a judge rejected. So that got us thinking, how often does someone try to get their gun rights back and how often are they granted? Senior investigative reporter Jennifer Merrily dug into cases across the state to get answers. 1448 petitions over the last five years in Minnesota. The courts approved more than half of them, all from people who wanted to get back their right to have a gun and ammo in Minnesota. Why should people be allowed to petition to restore their rights? You know what, I think it just goes to show, you know, that you're giving people a second chance. Even though it's considered a lifetime ban, it actually isn't for everyone. To get a better understanding of the data, we focused on Dakota County and found since 2019, 109 people there tried to have their gun rights restored. 72 succeeded. Their rights taken away for convictions involving drug offenses, assault, theft, and terroristic threats. Inside these petitions, their pleas for restoration. LaShawn wrote, I have paid my debt back to society. Another, I am an upstanding citizen who cares about my community. Anna said, I went to treatment in December of 2010 and have been sober since. Troy Horning's drug offense was 20 years ago. Just to show that how much I've changed, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've opened a business now, GQ Stucco and Stone, and I've done tremendous stuff, gave back to the community. Um, donate money to churches and stuff like that. Many whose petitions were approved cited hunting as their driving force. Others wanted a gun for personal protection or simply just wanted the right to have one. So who does deserve to have their rights restored? It's people that have been law abiding, grown up enough and understand enough the, 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 the responsibility of carrying a live firearm. One of the petitions denied in Dakota County over the past five years was Shannon Gooden. He ended up getting guns illegally, then used the weapons to fire more than 100 rifle rounds at first responders in Burnsville, killing three and injuring another. What do you take into consideration when you're looking at a petition? Well, first of all, are they being truthful and honest? Senior Judge Jerome Abram sat on the bench in Dakota County for a decade. How did people get into this? And it's both, it's a time and place type of thing. I mean, did they do it when they were younger? Did they do it when they were older? Uh, you look very, very carefully at this notion whether or not a firearm was used in whatever circumstance gave rise to this, this ban on firearms. Judges may grant a petition, but Abram says there's no obligation. They're guided by the statute, and it's up to petitioners to provide good cause in order to be approved. You know it when you see it. It's situational. So, so what is, is good cause? It's something that's legally sufficient. But, but usually the filter which you apply is one, and the fancy legal word for it is circumspection. That is, you want to be wary, you want to be careful. Petitions we saw denied had a similar theme. The original charge involved a gun. The person remains a threat to public safety. Not enough time has passed, or there's recent charges. A judge denied Anthony Wallace's petition last year. It's not remaining law-abiding. So you've had some other things since. You've had some other things since. With Just, law, runs right, with the law since. But not serious things. Wallace wants his rights restored to protect his family and for himself while working over the road. I mean, being a truck driver right now, it's like certain places I go to, I feel uncomfortable. He thinks errors in his file contributed to his denial. In the paperwork, the judge noted, even if those are subtracted, his threat to the public safety remains. Wallace plans to try again when he's next allowed in 2025. I don't think nothing should be a lifetime ban because what you do right now, you also grow yourself. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO Investigates. Beyond those restored gun rights, at least 10 requests were denied. We found other petitions were dismissed, withdrawn, referred to another county, or postponed. Head to WCCO.com for more information about who has a permanent ban on gun rights and how to have them restored.